Ringu, also known as Sadako, kind of like how Child's Play turned into Chucky, is a series about a girl named Sadako Yamamura, a girl with otherworldly powers who was thrown down a well and left her to die. Today I'll be ranking all 8 theatrical release Japanese films from worst to best. And though that last thing should have made what I said common sense, this doesn't include the made for TV movie, or the American ones, or the Korean one, or that one Chinese knockoff, yeah, let's get to the video. Coming in at number 8 is Rasen, also known as Spiral. Rasen was the direct sequel which was made and released at the same time as the first film, Ringu, and sees a man named Ando sort of get cursed and then pass it on to Ryuji's girlfriend through sex, and it ends up having him giving the borderline rapey Sadako some of Ryuji's DNA so she could give him a clone of his dead son in exchange for him helping her spread the curse or something? I don't know. That movie, it's not my favorite by a long shot, so uh, I just don't remember that much of it because it's not that memorable or likable, so yeah. It also suffers from just being plain boring at times too. I didn't hate it, but I can only imagine the sheer disappointment fans must have felt seeing the films back to back when they came out. Given how good the first one was, this one must have felt like a dick slap across the face. Number 7 goes to Sadako 3D2. This movie, funny enough, follows the same timeline as Rasen, the only movie in the series that I'm not a fan of. And funny enough, I like this one quite a bit. The movie is about a girl named Nagi. She's the daughter of Akane and Takanori from the first Sadako 3D. Nagi's a victim of Sadako's curse, but it's done in a way that you think she's the bad guy for the majority of the film. It's a pretty fun watch. At number 6, we have Sadako 3D. Since I knew this was a separate timeline and specifically a sequel to Rasen, I went in expecting it to be very different. I didn't expect Ringu 1998 quality. I didn't go into this thinking, yes, another Ring movie. I went, ah, a sequel to Rasen. I just want it to be good enough. Not amazing, just good enough. I knew not to get my hopes up, which I think really helped the enjoyment. The movie sees a woman named Akane actually wind up getting cursed by Sadako. After her boyfriend Takanori gets kidnapped and pulled into a TV screen, she's forced to try and save him. This movie's really different, and at one point there's even a big chase scene with Akane slaying a bunch of spider-like Sadako beasts. It, it's, it's just some weird entertaining shit. Coming in at number 5 is Ringu 2, the re-sequel to Ringu. This movie follows Mai. Ryuji's girlfriend from the last movie was essentially a rarely seen background character. Here we watch her try to get to the bottom of what caused Ryuji's death, and where on earth Riko and Yuichi disappeared to. It ends with Mai after Riko gets a really poorly executed death, helping Yuichi escape the clutches of Sadako, who was cursing him similarly to how she was affecting Nagi. Albeit, what she was doing with Yuichi never made people kill themselves just by being near him, but yeah. At number 4, we have 2019 Sadako. This movie reminded me a bit of Sadako 3D2, specifically with the unnamed girl who reminded me a lot of Nagi. Here we watch as a woman named Mayu works to save her brother and the unnamed girl from the clutches of Sadako, after her idiot brother got cursed in making a YouTube video, and the little girl who was cursed earlier in the movie solely suffers from it. I thought this was great, and I loved all the callbacks to the original movie, even if none of the films since 1998 could ever accomplish such an amazing TV crawling scene. Number 3 goes to the awesome crossover Sadako vs Keiko. This movie really was a love letter to the fans of these two horror icons. It was just a fun time overall. But the one problem I had with it, although I watched this during my ring marathon so it didn't matter to me much, was the fact that the Juon stuff has so little screen time. I understand that if you go into Keiko's house you're dead. Simple as that. She don't play around. But as a result of this, the girl in the Juon storyline did a whole lot of nothing and it just wound up feeling like a ring movie with a bit of Juon stuff sprinkled in at the last minute. I really enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but I also know it could have been a lot better. Coming in at number 2 is Ring Zero Birthday. Birthday is totally different from any of these movies, since we're going back in time. We watch Human Sadako, a sweet young woman who's passionate about acting, who winds up becoming the target of an angry mob who blames her for all these tragic events. Sadako is always a sad character, but it was this movie that really shows you the girl behind the screen. You see the hated outcasted loner, trying her best to achieve her dreams, only for things to end up as a cold wet nightmare. I thought it was great. And finally, number one goes to what may possibly be my favorite movie, 1998's Ringu. This movie was amazing. I loved every second of it. It follows a woman named Riko Asakawa, a reporter trying to solve the case of the killer videotape. And in doing so, she and her ex Ryuji wind up getting cursed, and they're in a race against time to stop it. And story aside, that TV scene where Sadako crawls out from it is by far my favorite scene from any movie. Right up there with Tina's death from A Nightmare on Elm Street, which is probably my second favorite effect right after this one. I love this movie. That's my personal ranking of the Ringu or Sadako movies, from worst to best.
If you've seen these, I'd love to hear your ranking or thoughts on them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.